Today I fucked up by showing my mother-in-law my hard on. So my wife wakes me around 6 a.m. to take her mom to the airport saying I was late. Me completely forgetting it was an early morning flight and eager to get them to the airport I get up and immediately just put on a raincoat and head to the living room where she was ready to go. I then noticed a look of surprise on her face then she looked away from me. Initially I was confused but quickly noticed a raging boner standing attention like a soldier ready for action. I double backed into my bedroom completely embarrassed by what happened. Had to wait about 10 minutes and was cleared to go. She did not say a single word on our way to the airport, one hour drive BTW, and not even goodbye when she left. I never experienced morning wood like this so I wasn't aware this could happen. I am just glad my wife wasn't around to witness what happened. Not sure how I will fix this relationship with my mom-in-law. Edit. I was wearing sweatpants. Edit 2. For those asking how I didn't know, it was a matter of seconds getting out of bed wearing the coat and leaving the room. A mixture of panicking and rushing left me unaware of my situation. And this is getting way more attention than I ever imagined. You can stop with the troll wholesome and helpful awards. Lol rolling on the floor laughing. Too long did not read. Woke up to drive my mother-in-law to the airport not realizing I had morning wood that she noticed. OMG my daughter's lover has an erection in the morning. Oh no, I wouldn't worry about it. If she doesn't understand that guys have erections here and there, I don't know what to say. Wait did you have pants on? Or were you just porky pigging it in a raincoat? Well, his username is meter long shalong. I'd be shocked too if I saw a meter long erection lol. Relax. If your wife's mom had never seen a boner she wouldn't be your wife's mom. I personally notice when it acts like a kickstand and prevents you from rolling over. You and your dick need to be more spatially aware. Huh? You never got morning wood? Good for you. Way to show and establish your dominance. At least now she knows her daughter is not with you for the money. Today I fucked up by using a fancy urinal that was actually a potted plant, in the woman's restroom. Obligatory, this happened last night. And English isn't my maternal tongue so please be kind. So um, I'm really not sure how to say this. This might be the most shameful thing I've ever done, and I'm a very shameful and sleazy guy so that's saying a lot. Anyway, last night I met up with a few old friends downtown for some drinks and bar hopping, at first it was just supposed to be a playful little thirsty thirst happy hour, nothing too extreme, but then we drank too much. We didn't drink too too much, just too much. Like we weren't falling down in the street but we were riding high, stumbling a bit, and laughing, talking way too loud like obnoxious douches. Next thing I know it's like 10 p.m. and I only wanted to be out until like 9 since it was a weeknight, but whatever. And I had to pee. So I figured it was time to find a bathroom and pee and splash a little water on my face to sober up a bit. The usual routine. So we're out in the street and next building coming up is this kind of fancy-ish looking restaurant. Not like extremely fancy but kind of fresh like appealing to hipsters. The kind of place that would think it's culinary genius to serve you food on something that isn't a plate. Like the vibe was just very creative. But nice too. Very neat and clean. So I walked up and gave the waitress the old lie. Hey I'm meeting people here they already have a table, as I point and slip my way on into the restaurant. But really I'm just looking for the bathroom and probably being not as sneaky as I thought but whatever. So I see a door with a blue circle and I hurry my ass in there. When I walk in I notice there's not a typical urinal, but instead there's this large potted plant in the corner of the room, like a fern or something idk, in a big pot that's about urinal height off the floor. And my drunk mind just figured, okay, yeah, it's like a hipster thing. Like pissing in nature or whatever, got it. I'm cool, I'm hip, so I zipped, and I whipped it on out. P-S-S-H-H-H-H-H-H, oh what a relief. Right as I'm noticing that the piss is splashing and puddling way too much, and I get the vibe that something ain't right here, a woman opens the bathroom door and starts yelling. Like a startled and angry yell and then she leaves and the door shuts behind her. And immediately it hits me what's going on here. I had accidentally become the ladies room plant pisser. So I immediately packed it in and zipped it up then just frickin ran out of there so fast. Didn't even wash my hands. Just left before anyone could raw me over the coals for being such a nuisance. I just ran down the street and turned onto another street and just kept running for like a mile. Just bolted from that whole situation. So yeah that's the story of how I accidentally watered a plant. Apologies to all involved. TLDR. 
thought a plant pot was a hipster urinal, turned out to be a plant pot in the ladies' room. I hope I'm not on some kind of a list now. Jeez. FYI. It's rake over the coals with a K. Oh dear. Well for years I thought the urinals in portable toilets, porta potties, were purse holders. So I completely understand. I'm laughing so hard at this because I feel like my brain would have the same thought pattern. Enter bathroom. No toilet, planter, hipster? I guess so. Haha. Ha. This reminds me of the time a bunch of other sailors and I flew out to Bahrain to report to our ship. We're at the airport in Manama and some of us had to use the bathroom. One if the sailors, who had gotten pretty inebriated on the plane, stood in front of what looked to be a very low to the ground urinal. Thinks it's weird but proceeds to let it flow. As we're finished, and washing our hands, we see a man enter, walk up to another one of the low riders, takes his shoes off and starts to wash his feet. Turns out my buddy had pissed in a footwashing station. You were drunk, but you weren't too drunk. I'm new to this sub. What do the letters mean under the title like, M, or, S? It's been bugging me. I did that with the new air dryers you put your hands in. It blew my piss all over me at the mall. FML. Reminds me of the time I went to a fancy restaurant with my mom. She asked me to accompany her to the restroom as we were leaving and so I did. The restroom had this fountain that was basically a wall with water running down and she noticed that when a toilet was flushed at a stall for some reason the water in the fountain would come out stronger. I swear she turned to me and said, oh I think it reuses the water from the toilets, bro? I could not stop laughing at her face when I said, yeah mom that's piss water, and she realized what she had said. Today I fucked up by wasting my twenties and sleeping my life away. I had a realization today that my life isn't going where I wanted to go. I've been staying with parents and with relatives but I've never had a place of my own. I'm almost 30. Not only do I not have any independence but I've never slept with a woman and I haven't had very many dates. I've been staying up all night and watching cam girls and sleeping all day. I literally sleep the day away. If I'm not watching cam girls I'm playing video games like League of Legends. The crazy thing is I've been blaming women for my problems with them. It's all my fault. If I was a woman I wouldn't date me. I've been blaming the world for my lack of success and money but it's my fault. I've been taking depression medication to cope with life. Instead of confronting my problems I just medicate. I haven't cried very much but I feel like crying right now. I never wanted my life to be like this. TL. DR I've been wasting my life. Instead of, today I fucked up, it should be today I woke up. I didn't get my shit together till I was in my 30s and I'm still working at it. Taking the first step is the hardest, go get it. I swear I saw this post like a week ago. First step in change is recognizing. Enjoy the next chapter. I remember this copy pasta. I've heard this exact same thing word for word here before. It's not too late to make changes. The fact that you're willing to admit your decisions created your reality is more than most in our age group are willing to do. Now get out there and make it happen. You're still young. Browski. You fucked up but there's no changing the past, only the future. If you're serious about turning your life around I can give you some beginning tips. 1. Start working out. 2. Start eating healthy and waking up every day at the same time. 3. Start talking to almost everyone you meet. Don't need to make it a long conversation. Just a smile and a, hey man, what's up, can be enough at first. Just try to be open. The longer conversations will come later. Saw the exact same post two weeks ago. Today I fucked up and got caught fox hunting. Dot and now I stink. This is an ongoing situation for me. Heard from a close friend that he'd mentioned this elsewhere on here and it got a little attention, so I thought I'd come here and share my side of the story. I'm part of a informal hunting club group of friends that I only recently joined, trying to make friends that organizes hunting activities together. Usually deer or bird, nothing special. One day someone had the bright idea to try a fox hunt. I was a bit skeptical because of the legal, ethical implications, but somehow got sold that LARPing as British noblemen might be fun to try for one afternoon to see if I liked it. Try anything once, right? So a small group of us decided to do it, with hounds, etc. Well, apparently the wife or girlfriend of someone in the group had notified Fish and Wildlife Services, and I got charged for the illegal fox hunting. Which, I'm not complaining, it was a really dumb decision. Blank. I agreed to a deal for a punishment that I thought was letting me off very easy. No jail time, no hunting for a year, and only 30 days of probation, modified house arrest. 
Dot the only catch being that for those 30 days, I'd have to keep an open bottle of fox urine in every room of my house. My attorney advised me that there's likely nothing illegal about a punishment like this, and similar, oddball, punishments have been administered in various cases before it's a probation condition that's related to the crime. If I appealed I could likely get out of it, but that would result in a new sentence which likely would involve jail time. So, I took the deal. I didn't think it would be so hard. I was wrong. I'm only about two weeks into it now, and it really really sucks. I stink, and it's getting to the point that showers aren't helping. I can leave the house, go outside, etc. between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. every day, but I have to spend my nights inside and it's getting worse every day. Plus I'm alone my wife took the kids to spend the month at her mom's place so they don't have to deal with this odor. I expected it to stink, but I also thought I'd get used to it after a while, like I have with any other bad smell. But for some reason it's not happening. It's getting worse and affecting me more every day. I don't know why, and sometimes I wonder if I can make it another two weeks. Also it doesn't even smell like urine, not even like a really unclean bathroom. It's somehow way way worse than that and very pervasive. I know I shouldn't be complaining and I guess it beats a year in jail, which I might get if I violate probation, but. Dot man this stinks. Literally. I do feel bad, and I researched the cruelty of that style of fox hunting. Now I almost feel trapped and cornered and anxious in here sort of like the foxes do. Maybe that's the point, to make me reflect on that. Too long did not read. Got caught fox hunting, have to keep fox urine in my house for a month, it's way worse than I thought. Can't say I feel too bad for you. Hard to imagine that you didn't know hound hunting was excessively cruel. If you wanted to hurt foxes, I don't have a problem with you smelling like a fox for a while. That said, why not cap the bottles? There's no cameras in your home, right? Sorry but as a hunter myself I absolutely cannot stand those who don't follow their state and federal rules when it comes to hunting. I also have zero sympathy for people that hunt for any other reason than to fill up their freezer with meat. People don't eat fox so even when it is done legally and in season it still just seems like a bunch of psychos killing just because they like it. You and your friends are terrible human beings. They should have let dogs tear y'all to shreds as punishment. Fuck each and every one of you. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. You're lucky your sentence wasn't outrunning a pack of attack hounds. You deserve way, way worse. Good, I hope you are suffering. Super don't feel bad for you. Sucks to feel trapped, doesn't it? Now, if they sent in a pack of dogs, maybe you'd get it. And poaching when it's not needed to feed yourself or your family. Fuck that shit. You and your friends suck. It seems like this punishment is actually teaching you a lesson, something jail just never seems to do. So good. Hope you legitimately learn from this.